Flux 2 is here and you can see some of the outputs that I've tried on my local system. It's really amazing. Now let's go ahead and see what is so special about Flux 2. So Flux 2 is finally here. So Flux 2 is built for real creative production, not just eye-catching demos. It delivers high quality visuals with consistent characters and styles across multiple references. Now we can see a huge leap from Flux 1 to Flux 2. We have different models. The first is Flux 2 Pro. This is a closed source model. It competes with the top closed source systems. It is available via the Black Forest Lab Playground or the BFL API. Another model is the Flux 2 Flex. This gives developers control over the generation parameters. It can be accessed from the Playground and from the BFL API. Another one is Flux 2 Dev. Now this is the one that we can use because there's an open source model, a 32 billion open width model derived from the core Flux 2 architecture. In this video, we are going to test out this Flux 2 Dev model. We're going to use some GPUs. I'm going to use RunBot, but let's Let's go through the features first and then we will test this out. So another model that they are it's coming soon is the Clan model that will be an open source um, Apache 2 license distilled from the Flux 2 base. Now looking at the performance we can see the ELO versus the cost. We can see Flux 2 Pro uh, it has an ELO score of 1050 still lesser than Nano Banana 2 but again you can see the cost is very less. For the Flux 2 Flex uh, it's a little higher cost with a little lower ELO score but for the dev you can see that the cost is basically it's free because you can use it uh, you can download it's an open source you can download it for free but it gives uh, an ELO score of 1025 that's pretty amazing and we have this max context which is which was the flux 1 model so you can see a huge improvement in the flux 2 model when compared to flux 1 now for different works for example text to image we can see that flux 2 dev wins when compared to quen image uh, homayun image and flux 1 for a single reference image we can see that flux 2 excels and for multi reference again you can see flux 2 model is an interesting one and it's on the top so regarding which model to choose you have these options as we have said pro flex and dev so if you are going to use for production we have to use this production the pro model for maximum quality you can use the flex for local development of course for free you can use the dev model speed is less than 10 seconds here it's higher latency and it depends on the hardware because it's running on our hardware the number of references that you can give 10 to 10 and for dev uh, recommended is max six there are standard controls adjustable sp steps and guidance and full customization here text to image uh, it cost about 0 0.03 dollars flex is 0 0.06 and it's basically free because it's an open source you can use on your own gpus image editing 0 0.045 dollars for the pro for the flex is 0 0.12 and for dev it's free technical specification you can see the resolution output up to 4 megapixel input is 64 64 minimum any aspect ratio up to 10 images as reference consistent style consistent character post guidance hex color matching structured prompting there's so many things and it's really an interesting model some of the things that you can do is multi-reference so you give the reference of all these images and ask it to combine in a single image photorealism and detail you can see the level of quality of the photos it really looks like a real photograph typography you can insert text greatness it only takes everything so text really good exact color control you can give it the hex color as well so the flowers inside the vase have the color this so you can give the exact color it's really amazing structured prompts so you can guide the model to change the output by giving different prompts for example eye level views this and warm levels view because warm is on the floor so the warm level views this here's an example of a json structured prompting so if you say uh, the scene starts with you know generate a coffee mug so this is a coffee mug you ask it to add a second mug in a different color it's going to add a second mug change the color of the steam so that's a red steam and then you can use and ask it to return the output using specific hex color Colors and it's really amazing so you can give this command using different hex colors so we, it has a palette and we have six you can specify the hex colors and you can and it can give you the output of that particular hex color so let's go ahead and test this out we have first of all this playground where you can go ahead and type a prompt so this is one of the examples that i've typed uh, and you can go ahead and try for 50 free images as of now else you have to change to a paid account you can use apis uh it's really for any service that you want to create but let's go ahead and check out the flux to dev model on our gpu so for the gpus i'm going to use runpod you can go through this link get.runpod.io slash pe48 this will take you 
to RunPod and a very good offer is going on where you recharge for the first time with $10 you're gonna get a credit of five to five hundred dollars I've seen people get five dollars almost every time but again hundred dollars and fifty dollars are not uncommon once you go ahead to this link go ahead and sign up this is the best GPU I've been working with this for the last three years it's really amazing so once you log in what you can see is uh, you have so many pods that you can choose so if you click on this pod you're gonna have this so you can see that uh, we have uh, b200 uh, 5.19 dollars per hour we have my favorite h100 uh, we have uh, other gpus which are very cheap for example 0.25 dollars per hour which is a 16 gb gpu rtx a4000 and in this example what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start up an rtx a6000 so what you're going to do in your case is you're going to go ahead and go to this rtx a6000 and then you're going to go ahead and click on edit increase this uh, size to about 200 and HTTPs and tcp ports are okay just click on set overrides and just click deploy on demand so once you do that you will have something like this it'll take some time for everything to load up but ultimately you will have a jupyter lab if you click on this jupyter lab you'll be brought to a jupyter lab such as this one such as this and then you need to go to a terminal to start things up first and foremost what you need to do is you can go ahead and apt get update and apt get upgrade dash y so update and upgrade pretty much standard things that you need to do then i'm going to go to a different terminal we're going to have to install three things uh first is this one a uh, bits and bytes so i'm going to say pip install bits and bytes uh then i'm going to say accelerate so pip install accelerate this is already installed so it won't take it's not taking much time but in your case it will take just a few seconds and pip install hf transfer so once you do this three installations if you go to this hugging face and the profile of black forest labs you can see that we have this flux new model here so bfl black forest labs flux to dev because there's an open source and you will be asked to grant access you just click on get access to this model you'll be granted access to this model if they need some detail just provide it so here uh, what i'm going to do is we're going to use the diffusers to run this code so what i've done was basically i just copy this code and let's go back to the jupyter notebook go to this main file main.py create a new main.py file here and just put it here so you can see that we're using this uh, we're using the diffusers flux to dev bnb 4 bit and this is our prompt basically this is our prompt and we are just saving the output to a flux to output.png so let's go ahead save this here and let's go ahead and run now before running we need to install the diffusers so you can go to this link click see the diffuser docs and here uh, there are certain instructions that you need to follow to run with diffusers so you can go ahead and take this pip install go to the terminal you can say pip install diffusers from the source from the github source and you can install this as well so transformers accelerate and bits and bytes so install this we have already installed the accelerate and the bits and bytes but we need the transformers as well so we need transformers so once you have that uh, what you can do is now run this python main.py file i'm going to delete the previous outputs that i have here once you start running first and foremost thing that it will do is you'll download the model Since since I've already downloaded the model, it's going to load the checkpoint, it's going to load the pipeline components and it's going to start everything up. Now one more thing that I got to mention is you need to go ahead and run this as well to provide the authentication the hugging face because we want to download from the hugging face. So you're going to go to this terminal here and just before you run this, I run the python main.py, you're going to go ahead and hf auth login and you'll be asked to enter your token here. Now you can get your tokens by going to huggingface.co, going to your profile after signing in, going to your profile, going to access tokens here and then creating a new token token click on invalidate and refresh then you will get a new token which you can use and put it here uh, this is running and you can see that it's uh, taking 23 of 50 steps here so it's basically the number of steps that you're putting for example the number of inference steps is 50 if we put a uh, more number of steps the image is going to be clearer the image is going to be more towards reality so while that is running uh, i want to talk about these models for example they have quantized these models uh, to fit into your gpus for example rtx 4090 or 
5090. Now, without quantization, it's a huge model. It's really difficult to fit into a single model. For example, even an H100 cannot hold the text encoder, transformer, and VAE at the same time. For H200, B200, or larger cards, everything fits. Therefore, we need to find some ways to reduce the size of the model or do some other inferencing techniques that will help us run this. So in this case, we are using a 4 bit quantization model, and therefore, it's easier on our pockets and it's easier to run. We see the output has arrived, so I'm going to download this output so i click on this output so this is the output it's really amazing the prompt was realistic macro photograph of a hermit crab using a soda can as its shell so it's just really amazing bfl diffusers so we have the text here we're giving colors and it's really able to bring out that colors that we asked because we asked this green color and we asked this orange color at the top it's really amazing so some other examples that i've tried are these uh you can see nova pay pigeon flux 2 is here that color palette i was talking about is really amazing now you have seen it's so easy to use using runpod go ahead to this link get.runpod.io slash pe and claim your bonus and get started with using this flux flux 2 is here but finally it's really amazing after all we need a better competitor to nano banana 2 and that to an open source contributor so that's all now so as a final point what i want to say is as BFL or Black Forest Lab are not just trying to be experts or dominant in the text to image category, but they're even trying for the text to video category. That would be an interesting thing to wait for. So until next time, go ahead and, and try this Lux2 to dev tool. Or you can go ahead to the playground and try this as well. Models that we have here. You can check the about 50 images are free and go ahead and check this out. Or you can go ahead to the GPUs and create your own image hosted as a service. Do amazing things with Flux2. I'll see you in another one. Thank you.